All right, guys. I got the oil pump in. I got all the bolts. Well, I'll, I'll mention something about that in a second. The oil pump's in. The seal's in. Uh, I had a little bit of trouble with the seal. I think I mentioned that in the previous video. So I used um, the, the seal that came with the rebuild kit was a little bit firmer. So I used it instead of the other one. The, I tried putting the other seal in several times, and the spring just kept popping out when I tried to put it on. So I used this one, and that seemed to work okay. Um, so the oil pump's on, and I was hopefully ready to move on to something else, and then this happened. I was torquing down the bolts for the oil pump, and as per the manual, install the oil pump mounting bolts, tighten them evenly to the torque listed in the chapter specs, make sure the gasket's straight, blah, 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 and then install the oil screen. Well, okay, let's see what the specs say. Oil pump to block bolts. With all that line in the video, 120 inch pounds, which is 10 foot pounds. I tighten these down to 10 foot pounds. All the other ones, 10 foot pounds isn't a lot. Uh, that's not a lot. Why this one stretched so much and snapped? I have no idea. Uh, this it just stretched. So that last thread there, you can almost see how it's it started stretching. Yeah. So that very last thread at the end there. You see how much it's stretched, how much wider it is than the other ones. So, yeah, it just snapped this bolt. Now, luckily, um, because it's such an awkward spot in there, uh, luckily, I heard it pop. And I twisted it out very slowly by hand, and there was still a few little sh uh, pieces of metal holding this together to the head of the bolt. So the whole thing came out. So, I guess I, I'm going to have to see if I can order another bolt. I'm not going to find like, one like this at the hardware store. This is one of the bolts, I would say probably one of the more important bolts. Because it's one of the two longer ones at the back. And that's the part of the gasket that's actually the most important. Is the two bolts on both sides of it. I guess I'm going to see if I can find another bolt. I think, it's, I think maybe I can get to it if I keep working. Uh, so I can't I can't wait on this all right guys um, crisis is uh, averted for the moment I look I did some looking on uh, last night online for a replacement bolt for the one that snapped and looks like Ford discontinued them um, I couldn't find them on any of the um, in any of the rebuild kits or listed separately uh, so I think my only option was gonna have to be buy a um, buy an old uh, used oil pump and find one that someone would sell uh, with the bolts um, but before I went that route I went to the local hardware store now, this isn't the bolt that I put in but it was it was somewhat similar um, it's not a flange bolt it's just a hex a hex bolt but I couldn't find at least at my hardware store my, the hardware store close to my house has a bunch of hardware uh, bolts and that type of thing so they have about the best selection that um, that I'm gonna find in my area here they had a bunch of flange bolts um, the same size as that bolt made out of the same material I'm not sure what that is but um, I, they didn't have any that was the same pitch they were all very coarse threads and um, the pitch wasn't right so I had to find a uh, I believe this is an M6 size bolt yeah, I think it's an M6, and the pitch is a, a, a 1. Um, they didn't have any flange bolts that size, so uh, this is as close as I could get something similar to this uh, with a washer underneath it. Uh, just kind of be careful and don't mess up your threads. But, um, yep, that's the route I went, and it torqued down, so I'm going to leave it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to install is the... Uh the, pit, the, the manual doesn't show any pictures of it, but I'm pretty sure this is the uh, oil pan baffle. So I'm going to go ahead and install that now. So I can see that. Just like that. Oh.
Yeah, those are snug. So these are going to be torqued down to uh, 18 foot, 18 foot pounds. All right, so the next thing I'm going to put on is the um, the oil screen. That's this piece that we cleaned up in the previous videos. Um, you'll need a new gasket for this. Okay, so I just looked and I torqued these down to 89 inch pounds. Alright guys, so we're moving on to the actual um, oil pan itself. Um, your gasket should already be kind of formed, um, f formed to the way it sits over the pan. So it's pretty easy to figure out which way it goes. Um, actually, if you turn it this way, which is the only other way it could go, uh, the little uh, little mounds here don't line up. So the gasket only fits one way, which makes it pretty easy to get it in there. So you kind of line everything up first, make sure you don't have any problems. All right, that's that. Okay. So I went ahead and uh, got all the bolts ready. That are the, all the oil pan bolts. There's eight. Um, there's eight normal looking bolts, and there's two um, two bolts that are different size, and the uh, intake bracket, the intake manifold bracket, the bottom of the intake manifold. Uh, there's a bracket sitting here with another nut that goes on here. Uh, those two, if I'm not mistaken, let's see. I think they go. And those two spots right there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some extra uh, gasket maker in a couple of the spots where I may have some trouble. So mainly um, on these corners. Uh, yeah, in these corner areas here. Um, so yeah, so these four corners, and then maybe in this valley here. I go ahead and, and put some there as well. Um, the thing the thing about this is is you only have you know about 10 minutes or so after putting this stuff on before you got a mess on your hands. Um, so you kind of got to work fast. Um, I've already got my I've already got my little impact um, with a 10 millimeter socket on there, um, so I can just buzz those down to, to hold the pan, uh, and then I can torque them all down later. So that's what I'm doing um, right now. I'm going to go ahead and put this on and then I'll try to set the camera up so you can see me put the pan in.
All right, the pan's on. Um, I'm going to go look at the torque specs real quick, and then I'm going to start torquing it down. So I just looked that up, and all of these bolts are 18 foot-pounds as well. So I'm going to torque that down now. All right, guys. Uh, next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be installing the uh, Tommy and Belt pulley and the uh, guide for that and the, uh, the crankshaft damper. So... This is how this goes. If you your the little guy, a little guide here um, probably has some markings where it's been in the past. So either mark it when you take it out. Uh, in my case, I didn't have to because you can kind of tell where it, how it went. But that goes on just like that. And uh, this is notched as well, so it can only go one way onto the crankshaft, and so can this. So there's a, there's no real way to mess that up except I don't know, maybe putting this on backwards or something. But uh, yeah, so this this is this goes against the crankshaft oil seal on the oil pump. Then that goes against that, and then the damper goes on top of that. any tighter by hand um, and it's turning the crankshaft so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to hold that uh, that pulley there stupid and put the timing belt on alright guys don't be dumb like I did and put the uh, the damper back on without sitting your timing belt in there alright guys now that the damper's in uh, that bolt has got to be torqued down to 88 foot-pounds, so you're going to need a chain wrench most likely to um, to do that. I'm going to start working on that now. All right, guys, all right, I finally got this uh, the damper uh, tightened down to 88 foot-pounds. I didn't have a chain wrench, uh, so I'm not even going to tell you how I did it, but it did involve various wires. The next thing I'm going to go ahead and do real quick is install the uh, that VR sensor down there uh, or I think the, the service manual calls it a VR sensor but it's, it's also the crank shaft position sensor so I'm gonna go ahead and install that that's two little uh, seven millimeter bolts I believe um, and they're torqued down to um, 84 inch pounds so uh, they come off of there with thread locker on the the service manual doesn't say anything about putting it back on uh, but if they came off with thread locker, I'm going to go ahead and put thread locker back on. So I'm going to go ahead and bolt that up real quick. Alright, so the crank uh, position sensor is in there. And I went ahead and set that at top dead center uh, for piston 1. So I guess the question now is, am I ready to put the head on? Let me think. Okay, I think I may go ahead and start prepping the head. I'm going to clean, clean the bottom off, put in the cam position sensor. Um... I don't know. I don't know if I should put the uh, exhaust or intake manifold on or just put the head on and try to put them in separate.